Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Ever get that uh, warning message that you see over and over and over again? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to just pop that message up once and then you won't see it again for that customer unless you leave the customer record or go back to it or close the form or whatever. This way you don't keep seeing it over and over and over and over again. You get the point, right? You get the point. They get annoying. So today we'll see how you can just get it once and then it won't bother you again. Today's question comes from Cassandra in Naples, Florida, one of my platinum members. And hey, that's kind of in my backyard. Cassandra says, is there a way to make access only show a warning about a customer's credit limit once instead of displaying it every time I enter a new order for that customer? I just want one alert per customer until I move to another customer or close the database so I don't keep getting the same message over and over again. And full disclosure, yes, Cassandra's question was slightly different from this, but I, I, I changed it a little bit so it fits the database that we're working with. So, okay, yeah, let me show you how to do this. <laughs> All right, so two videos ago, I showed you how to show how much credit they have left or whether they're over the credit limit. We're gonna use this database. And yesterday I showed you how to recalculate this when the user updates the order. All right, now these, you don't have to watch these. These aren't prerequisites, but I just wanted to mention this because I'm using the same database. I saw all these, these questions come in and they're kind of similar, so I figured I'd put them all together. But this is a developer level video, so at the minimum, make sure you watch my intro to VBA video if you're not sure how this stuff works. And watch my Are You Sure video, which is, this is what we're gonna use to, to ask the user if they're sure, if they're, when, when we prompt them. So go watch this one too. These are free videos, they're on my YouTube channel, they're on my website, go watch them and then come on back. All right, now how about a warning? All right, you go to this guy's record, oh, let's say, oh, let's, let's make me over my credit limit here. Let's go and say that this is a uh, thousand. Oh, still not over my credit limit, let's make it a thousand. That's much better. Okay. You might get some colorblind employee who doesn't catch that. So when you hit the order button, you might want to say, hey, wait a minute, you're over your credit limit. How do we do that? Well, that's not that hard to do. We just come in here in our order button, right click, build event. All right now, before we open that form, we just give them a little warning message. We say, if their uh, credit left, that's that box, right, is less than zero, then we just throw them up a message box, right? If message box, this user is over their credit limit, continue anyways. See, this is a management question. Do you want to allow them to put the order in or do you want to stop them? If you want to stop them, just, you know, say, you know, exit sub right here. But if you want to still just give them a warning and say, you know, hey, hold on, this guy's over his credit limit. Are you sure you want to continue? That's a management decision. I'm showing you how to just give them a warning here. Okay, let's make it uh, VB yes, no cancel. So I always like to have a cancel option plus VB default button two. I like no to be the default for things like this. And then plus one more. We gotta oh, move this over so you can see it. Let's do a VB question. Yeah. All right. And then we're running out of lines here, comma. Oh no, we're gonna close the parentheses. If this whole thing, let's make this two lines because it's really big. Hurt. All right. If that whole thing is not VBS, then exit sub. I've covered this in several different videos. Essentially, it's going to say, hey, this user's over their credit limit. Do you want to continue? It's going to give them the yes, no cancel buttons. If the user clicks yes, right, then it doesn't exit the sub. If they click no or cancel, they exit out. I like to include cancel always because sometimes users don't know what they're doing. They'll go, I, I have no idea. And they'll, they'll just, their response, their instinct is to hit cancel. And that's what you want, just to cancel out. And they'll ask someone else. <laughs> All right. And then end if. Okay. Save it. And close it, close it, open it. Now, if they're on someone who's not over their credit limit, it just opens. If they're on someone who is over their credit limit, like this guy. It yells. You want to continue anyways? Nope. Continue anyways? I'm not sure. Continue anyways? Uh, yeah, okay. And then they can still add it. So that's up to you. That's a management choice. What if you're going to be adding a bunch of orders and you don't want to be pestered every time? You're going to be adding like three, four, five orders 
You don't want this this bugging you every time. Well, you could put a temporary warning or a, a warned once box on here. Here's what I would do. I'd come in here, design view. I'd put a hidden checkbox on here. So form design, find a checkbox. Where are you at? There you are. All right, stick it there. And I'm just gonna delete the label. And this guy here, we're gonna name it warned, W-A-R-N-E-D. We're gonna set, it. normally you'd make its visible property no, cause you don't wanna see it. But I'm gonna leave it yes, just so we can see it working. Okay, let's set the default value equal to no. All right. And now in here, at this point, we'll say warned equals true, cause we're popping up the message. Okay, but I don't wanna see it again. So what we're gonna say in here is we're gonna say, if not warned, then do all that, exit sub. So if warned is yes, it won't even bother with that block. It'll just open up the block or open up the form. Okay, save it, close it, close it, open it, right? So first, whoop, 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 oh, I put exit sub there, that's my bad. Raise your hands in the back row if I mess up, guys. And if, not exit sub, and if. Sometimes I'm talking to you guys and I'm not paying attention. All right, let's try it again, ready? <laughs> Click, are you sure? See how it got marked, yes, are you sure? Yeah, put an order in, blah, blah, blah. Gotta add another order, put another order in, see, it's not bothering me. Put another order in, okay, if I close it, come back to them later, it's gonna give you the warning again. Okay, that's fine. Now, what if I move to a different customer? You want that box to reset, right? So what you'll do then is put that in the on current event. Event on current right in here. And you'll just say warned equals false. And that'll make sure that, that box resets every time you move from record to record. So you don't get bothered again. All right, let's see, there we go. Warn me, okay. And then go to somebody else and give me a warning. Oh, wait, what happened here? Didn't give me the warning. Oh because they're not over their credit limit, that's why. Let's, uh, the, this guy's almost over his credit limit. Let's see here, let's make this uh, 40, 5,400. That'll put him over his credit limit. Now I'll get the warning, okay. And there we go. Now, if you're not just doing something that's customer related, let's say you've got um, like a system-wide event, something that you wanna run every time, you know, like every day when you log onto the database, you wanna, you want to say, let's, let's say you got to, like me, for example, I import my new YouTube members every morning and uh, my, my PayPal information, like sales and stuff from PayPal. I do that every morning. I can't automate it just yet. I'm working on it. I know it's complicated, but I don't want it to, you know, I want it to warn me if I try to do it a second time. Let's pretend this button is my import, right? If I go to hit the import button and it says, hey, you already imported the data for today, right? You could do the same thing. You could use a static variable. You could use a checkbox on here. I like to use temp vars because temp vars will survive a, um, a VBA error. Okay. So let's pretend this is my, you know, my daily import button. Okay. Um, put a build event in here. Status hello world. You just say in here, for example, um, if is null temp vars, um, uh, my warning. Okay, then temp bars warning equals false. All right, always check a temp bar to see if it's null. If it's null, that means it hasn't been initiated yet. And if you try to see if it is true or false, it'll always come back with null. So remember, null isn't equal to anything, even null itself. Someone just beamed in. All right, so you always got to check to see if it's null first. Okay. And I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard so we don't have to keep typing that in. And here I'm gonna say if temp virus warning, you could put equals true in here, but you don't need to. Sometimes it makes it easier to read. Um, so if the warning is true, which means you've been given the warning before, okay, then status, you've already done this, dummy, right? Exit sub, and then do that. Otherwise, you know, you haven't done it yet. So now we're gonna say this equals true. So now it should only warn you once. Same kind of concept, right? So close it, open it. First time I do it, burp, hello world. 
If I try to do it later on, burp, you've already done this, dummy. You've already done this, dummy. Even if I close the main menu and come back to it, you've already done this, dummy. Right? The only thing that's going to reset that is closing the database and reopening it. So that brings me to today's extended cut. Now, in today's extended cut for the members, we're going to take this to another step. We're going to save the warning data per customer. So every customer will have their own warning level, basically. So if you've already done it with ABC Corp, right, and then you go to XYZ and, you know, they also need to be warned, you'll see a separate warning. It doesn't matter that you already got warned for ABC Corp. And we'll store it per user. So if you're entering an order for ABC Corp and your buddy Joe in the next office goes to add an order, he won't also, you know, not see the reminder. He'll get his own reminder. So we'll track what user saw it and we'll store the time that they were warned. And you could set whatever interval you want, like once an hour. So if you're going to add like two or three orders right now, you might forget three hours from now. So we'll reset that warning. Now, I know this is a silly example, you know, warnings for a customer being over their credit limit, but the techniques I'm going to show you, they're valid for all kinds of stuff. Like I said, you can use it for that uh, daily import or what, whatever you've got going on in your database where you need warnings, but you don't want to see too many warnings. We're going to log it. We're going to log it by user, all kinds of cool stuff, all covered in the extended cut for the members. And as a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them, the whole library. There's lots, there's tons of them. There's hundreds of them. So check it out. Click that blue join button down below and gold members can download these databases that I make in the tech help videos and you get access to my code vault and everybody gets free classes every month. I don't know why you're not all joining. Join right now. And of course, if you like this stuff, if you like learning with me, check out my developer lessons. I've got hundreds of hours of developer training on my website. I'll put a link right there. You can click on it down below. But that is going to do it for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mention in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.